Let's be real, y'all. Mornings can make or break your day. We've all had those chaotic mornings where everything just feels off. But imagine if you could wake up in control with a routine that sets you up for success every single day. No rushing, no stress, just ease and productivity. Sounds good, right? And let me tell you this, it's possible. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it happen. Ready to change the way you start your mornings? Well, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra and here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, we're going to hop into today's video. So today we're talking all things of having a successful morning routine. A morning routine can honestly help make your mornings less stressful. It can help you take care of yourself first for the day. It can help boost your productivity and honestly, when you set yourself up for success in the morning, you can get so much more done throughout your day. It just puts you off on the right foot for the day. So let's go ahead and hop into today's video. I'm gonna be giving you guys three steps that are gonna really help you enhance your morning routine, help you get a morning routine actually started, and find a morning routine that actually works for you. I know we get on Instagram or we get on YouTube and we see all of these aesthetic morning routines, but like which one is actually gonna work for you? So let's go ahead and hop into the video. So step one, you cannot have a morning routine without a solid night routine. And I know you might be thinking like, what? Like having a solid night routine is gonna just help set you up for success in the morning. And this starts with having some sort of like night prep. Personally for me, my night prep looks like a, cleaning up my kitchen before bed or cleaning up my living room before bed because the, the living space is honestly where I'm gonna be getting ready in the morning because my fiance is not getting up as early as me and I don't wanna be like disruptive to him. So make sure my living space is clean and tidy in the morning because I don't know about y'all, I had a little bit of ADHD and when it's just chaotic, like my space is chaotic, I start thinking about other stuff. It's like I start thinking about things that I need to get done, stuff that I can get done at that time. Or honestly, I might just have a little bit of like paralysis and just sit down like because I have nothing set up for the morning. So start by cleaning up your kitchen, cleaning up your living room. I this concept on TikTok maybe like last year and it was called the close down shift. And think about it, I don't know if you guys ever worked in like retail or like restaurants or something like that. When the restaurant closes, when the business or establishment closes, there are things that you have to do to make sure the place is set up for the morning crew to go. And that's just simply by closing down. So you're gonna close down your kitchen, you're gonna close down the living room and a way you can kind of do this and not take too much time, set a timer for 15 minutes. Everything that you get done in 15 minutes is what you're getting done because what you don't want it to do is to turn into a whole thing and that might actually keep you up at night, honestly. So just set a timer for 15 minutes, do like the minimal things, straighten up, clean up your floor, wipe your counters, Put your dishes in a dishwasher so, so you can wake up to some clean dishes. It's nothing more annoying than waking up to a sink full of dishes. And every time I go to bed without doing the dishes, I regret it every single time in the morning. Because it's just when your space is not together, it really, really, really clutters your mind. So just go ahead and knock it out in the nighttime. I promise you guys, I promise you guys, it's gonna make your morning so much better. So next on the night prep list is going to be lay out your clothes at night. I know your parents probably did this and you probably thought it was dumb or like I grew up just doing this. I did not grow up doing this, but set yourself up for success. You're gonna hear me say that a lot in this video, but set your clothes out at night. And when I say clothes, I don't know if you're going to the gym in the morning, what are you doing in the morning? Do you have to go straight to work? So set out your work clothes. If you're not going to work first thing in the morning, set out your gym clothes. Set out the socks, set out the shoes, like have everything there, easy, accessible, and ready to go. Because the moment you start looking for stuff, you're taking up time out your morning. So the best thing you can do is just already have it out in a place, ready to go, at the door. Have your shoes at the door, have your socks at the door. Just get up and go. After you do those things, we're going to start to go into the wind down part of your night prep. So personally for me, this kind of starts with some days I might have a little um, tequila, but that's probably not good to have a healthy morning. 
but sometimes it relaxes me. But if you're not into alcohol, we can do a Sleepy Girl Mocktail. I love Sleepy Girl Mocktails as well. And a Sleepy Girl Mocktail really helps you relax your mind and relax your body. The key ingredient when doing a Sleepy Girl Mocktail is to add some magnesium and to add some tart cherry juice. And this, the magnesium honestly helps with like calmness and stillness and anxiety. And the tart cherry juice is going to help you go to sleep. Find you guys a good recipe on TikTok. Actually, I think I have a good recipe on my shorts. So check it out. Like, it's just gonna help get you in the right mood, get you winding down, get you feeling relaxed. Okay, so next we're going to take a bath. I'm a bath kind of girly. We're gonna take a bath with some Dr. Teal's bubble bath, the one that has the melatonin, the lavender, the chamomile. Like, get yourself relaxed. And when you're in the bathtub or you're if you're in the shower, if you're a shower person, Play like some lo-fi music, some jazz music, or if you want to take in some knowledge during that time, listen to an audio book, listen to a podcast, but let it be something that's more so on the relaxing side to kind of wind you down. Don't, you know, go spike in your excitement levels throughout the night when you're trying to actually like wind down in this time. After this, I mean, it's time to kind of get ready for bed, get yourself comfy. Personally for me, I think it's best to not be on the phone at night. But if you're a person who has to scroll before bed, if you're a person who reads on their phone before bed, please put your phone in night mode. It is going to turn that blue light off of your eyes and you're gonna be able to relax a little bit more better. Matter of fact, turn your phone on night mode like the moment it's time to wind down because your eyes are looking at your phone all day with that blue light and that blue light is gonna keep you up as well. So even if you're a person who has the TV on, you might have to turn the TV off when it's time to start winding down. Start to listen to more things, listen to music, listen to rain. Take the opportunity to really just relax. Like you've been doing stuff all day. Give yourself time to relax, rejuvenate, and really just Sit still, honestly. Like, if you think about it, throughout the day, we do so many things. We have so many tasks that we have to do. Get in the bed, turn your phone off, or put your phone to the side, and just relax. Go to sleep, recharge, and rejuvenate yourself for the next day. In that night prep off, have a bedtime for yourself. I know we talked about getting in the bed, but have a bedtime for yourself. Our parents was onto something with that one too. Like you might've been mad at your parents like, oh, I don't want a bedtime when you're, they used to tell you when you're grown, you can do whatever you want. But when I'm gonna tell you this right now, you're grown and you need a bedtime. Especially if you're trying to have a morning routine, if you're trying to get up at five, 6 a.m. You need to be sleep, like literally no later than 10.30. And that requires you to probably get in the bed around nine, 9.30, so you can give your body an opportunity to relax, to go to sleep. Set a bedtime. It's not childish, it's realistic for somebody who has to get shit done. I want you guys to write down your top three priorities for the next day at nighttime. I know sometimes people write down their to-do list in the morning when it's like fresh on the brain, but like really start to think about that step at night. Think about your top three priorities that you need to get done for the day. And then write it on a sticky note, put it like on your nightstand, put it on your refrigerator, put it somewhere that you're gonna see it in the morning so you know exactly how to get your day started. It helps kind of just like keep you on track, get your day started on the right foot. Just really think about what your top three are. And if you wanna learn a little bit more like how people do top three, I actually learned about top three uh, from Erin On Demand, she's here on YouTube. But the thing is like a lot of people do their top three in the daytime but if you do it at night after you wind down you might have a clear mind of what you want to tackle first thing in the morning and then that way like you just knock that stuff out and then you have time to do more things throughout the day personalize your morning routine i said this in the beginning we get on youtube we get on tiktok we see all of these people make these beautiful videos of these morning routines and they're making their greens and they're they have these special kind of lights going off in the morning they get up they make lemon water like they do yoga they journal but like realistically can you do that in the morning like if you're just simply trying to get out the door make a routine that's gonna work for you Everybody cannot be that girl. So make a routine for you. Like what kind of girl are you? And honestly, I'll give you guys an example of the rundown of how my morning goes. And it's not all aesthetically pleasing. 
like how everybody else's is. So for me, I like to kind of just wake up. At one point I was a coffee girl. I'm not really a coffee girl anymore. So I've been doing like a lemon water here lately. Or if I'm not doing it like that, I'm just gonna go straight into the pre-workout because we got things to do in the morning and I like to work out first thing. So it really just depends on what time I'm working out that day, what I actually put on the stomach first. Two, I like to kind of spend a little bit of time in the Bible. If I don't physically read the Bible, I make sure I at least read the devotional on the Bible app. Like make sure you're taking in some sort of like inspirational words first thing in the morning for your day. Sometimes I would like prepare a healthy breakfast. I feel like it kind of just depends where I am in my cycle. I'm a cycle sinking kind of girly, so I really listen to my body and figure out what I need in the morning. Some days I might actually need like oatmeal. Some days I can just do a rice cake. So think about like, what do you realistically want to eat in the morning? Do you eat in the morning? Some people don't eat until 12, 12 p.m. noon, lunchtime. So think about what kind of works for you there. And then <laughs> I like to get to the gym before six o'clock. It just starts to get crowded at six. So if you get there before six, you can knock out everything that you want to knock out. And if you're leaving by the top, by the time the crowd comes in, you're back home and showered and ready by seven dressed. A, you might be ready to go. Or if you work for yourself, you can start to tackle your task a lot earlier. And then honestly, that leaves your day with a lot more leisure time or that leaves your day opportunity to get more done. It has start on, you know, tomorrow's goal. So like, think about it like that. It can really just help you get more done if you start your day earlier because you wake up early, you're refreshed, you you know you have to get up in the morning, you know you have stuff to do in the morning, so just get it done. But the thing is, sometimes people try to do stuff at nighttime and like nighttime is just not my thing. I can't read the Bible at night. I can't journal at night. I can't work out at night. Like it's just not my thing. I'm super tired, I'm super exhausted and I just wanna relax at nighttime. So that's why I say have a solid night routine so you can wake up in the morning and feel refreshed and get a tackle on your day. Keep it this simple guys, like simple as this. This will help you so, so, so much. We can't go look for another person's routine. We have to figure out what the routine looks like for us. And it's okay if it's not glamorous like these people on YouTube. It is okay, I promise you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know somebody who might be struggling with their morning routine, please send them this video. If you guys have something that you might wanna add about your morning routine, what your morning routine looks like, what do you like to do in the morning, how does your night routine look like, please put it in the comments below. I would love to know other people's morning routines because honestly, I like to watch like, you know, morning routine content because sometimes you gotta just live vicariously through others because it's no way in hell. Like my morning is just gonna be as glamorous as you beautiful people on YouTube. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share with a friend. Bye.